everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a new reading vlog, but this time it's going to be solely cozy. So a bunch of cozy, mostly fantasy with a little bit of mystery books that I'm hoping to read. Some of them have been on my waiting list at the library for a little while and the other ones I have right here. So we're going to hope to finish a couple, try a couple. I'm trying to find something that would be similar to Legends and Lattes essentially. I love that book and I feel like a couple years ago this would not have been my thing but I am really in the mood to try and find things that are similar. But first I wanted to say thank you to Trailmix for sponsoring this video. I have been playing for the last couple of days the game Love and Pies which is a free game to download. You can play it on your phone, your tablet and the vibes are so similar to the books that I'm currently going to be reading because it is kind of a low stake, cozy, small town vibes and the main character just got divorced and she goes back to the town she grew up in to take care of the cafe from her family. But when she arrives there, it just burned down. Her mom is nowhere to be found. So you're having to redecorate the place, uh, take care of your customer, bake goods, drinks. But you also have to solve the mysteries and like rekindling relationship with uh, old friends and possible love interest. Personally, I'm really into these relaxing games where you can just switch off, take a break and try it. And where there are multiple things for you to do at the same time. So I feel like in between books, this is going to be perfect to play this week. So if the little gossips and small town vibes also appeal to you, I will put all the information in the description box and you can also try Love and Pies. Let's start with the two physical ones that I'm thinking about. I'm going to pick one or the other. So we have Keeper of Enchanted Rooms and then we have The House Witch. So both of them are fantasy, like I said, kind of low stake, wholesome kind of story. Uh, this one, someone starts working, I believe it's for the king and queen and there's a lot of political intrigue. Again, low stake fantasy. And this one, I believe the main character inherits a um, house that, not hunted, but like has magic. He gets there the first time and is locked into, in it. So like, they both sound really cool, but from the story, I think you can tell. I think I'm gonna start with this one. It's slightly shorter too. Uh, I have not been reading a ton, so I feel like this, there's less pressure. If I love it, I'll be excited to read this. I feel like during the spring, summer, I want things that are just, you know, more wholesome. Um, I did grab my Kindle because I want to laugh at myself. I am still <laughs> reading Beware of Chicken. I haven't read one page since the last vlog. In the last vlog, I didn't read one page. So we're making, I'm pretty sure it's even the same. Like I didn't even open it. <laughs> But I did enjoy it when I was reading it. Okay, we're blaming everything on the surgery. Um, but I liked it. Again, low stake fantasy. This time it's someone, I guess from her world, that is sent back in like a different version of like ancient China and uh, he's in the body of a monk that has magic and he kind of goes to a far, far away land and becomes a farmer. And that's basically the story. And it was really, really working for me. I just got out of the habit of reading the Kindle before bed. I've been crashing very early since the surgery, but I'm better now. So I feel like I should I should get back into the habit. If I can manage to finish that one, I do have a couple more from the library, but I'm realizing none of them are audiobooks, which is not good. I did not plan that properly. Uh, I have two parts sugar, one part murder, which cozy murder mystery. Uh, I had the other one too. This one was with like older female characters. It sounded cool. Peg and Rose solve a murder. You know, again, cozy mystery. Maybe I should keep the mystery cozy for a different one. I do have another fantasy one, The Witches of Moonshine Matter, which again, I have the ebook. I'm realizing I did not plan audiobooks for this vlog, so it's okay. You have seen them, they're on my list. If I keep the vibes going, uh, I will be picking up those ones uh, in the upcoming weeks because again, during the summer, I like those low stakes kind of fantasy and uh, mystery books, so. I think this is going to be the plan. I am going to be reading this and then this one and then depending on how it goes maybe I'll grab one of the mystery ones from the library or maybe I'll start this one. And then to keep the cozy vibes going we have the kittens. I will be including as always a bunch of kitten content because everyone has been requesting it which uh, we have official names. You know what let's, let's do that right now. Uh, I made you vote on the community tab and I am impressed that like 5,000 people <laughs> voted. It's so easy to forget that there are so many people on the internet. Um, but yes, you apparently cared enough to vote for the cats. I'm so happy that everyone seems to love them as much as I do. And if you don't, well, at least we haven't expressed it. <laughs> Hopefully everyone likes them. Uh, but yes, I'm just as obsessed as them. And this week they have their first appointment to the vet. Very excited. But yes, um, number one, Charlie is still Charlie. And then number three, um, Harry 
mostly known as Chunky, is also officially named Charlie. They will get the microchip at their first appointment. And then we had Mama Cat and uh, number two, the little girl to name officially. Th they were the ones we weren't sure, I wasn't sure. And I said that even though at the end of the day it was my decision because I'm the one having to say that <laughs> in person to people, um, I was really interested in hearing your thoughts. So Mama Cat, uh, I made you vote. We had three options. We had Lilith, which Personally, I have always thought I would get a black cat and call her Lilith, and I felt it worked really well with her story, but it didn't win. Uh, and then we had Octavia, which was something that a lot of you requested that I put as an option, and she's one of my favorite authors. That was that was a great option. Also didn't win. The one that ended up winning was my second choice that I was also planning on giving a cat one day, and it is Persephone, which we can call her Pear, and it was the winner. So you chose and I approve. So she will officially be known as Persephone and yeah, I think it suits her. Uh, I feel like I was really happy with all three, so it's not a problem. I'm planning on giving them a million nicknames. I've already been doing that. So frankly, the official name doesn't matter that much at the end of the day. And then we have the little girl. Uh, I made you also vote. We had three options. We had Nibbles, which was my favorite nickname actually. And it didn't win. So I think I'm still gonna call her that because I like the name. Um, you ended up choosing Freya, which I do think it's a really pretty name. You see where I'm going with this. Uh, the only thing is I feel like it would suit a lot of different cats or pets in general. And her with the little beauty mark, Claudia, which thank you, David, for <laughs> suggesting this one because I laughed so hard and I'm going with Claudia. Sorry, not sorry. If you think about it, Charlie, Chunky, and Claudia, three C cats, it kind of works, right? So yeah, that's gonna be her official name. I really don't mind if you name them something else in the comment section, frankly. I know some people mind, I really don't. Uh, like I said, I will be calling them a million things. I'm already doing it. I'm always telling her, uh, Claudia, that she has like a, how to say that in English? Like, elle a une petite face de talent. Like, she has like a little like wicked face. Wicked is not the right word because you usually say that to like children when they're about to do something. You know they're about to do something bad, which she, she usually is. So, so yeah, even actually I'm shocked right now that Chunky's not here. They're currently napping uh, in the living room, but I'm always calling him uh, mon petit pot de colle, which is like my little pot of glue because he is a needy baby and we love him for it because Charlie's not cuddly whatsoever and the little girl is dangerous so like <laughs> so when she cuddles me it's nice but it's it's stressful so yes um that's the plan for this week let's go see the babies and then I will sit down with my first book and start it I'm actually really excited I've heard good things so far look at my little panther in the sun yeah I brought lunch for mama so everyone is very excited yeah let's do that Look at the little mittens. That is scary. She has double nails too. I don't know if I can show you. No, not right now. She's she's not interested. But she has two nails too. Look at the dusty babies. Look at this. Look at this. Why are you so dusty? Oh my gosh. <laughs> They've been playing with the foam roller nonstop. I put my vacuum there. Don't judge. Uh, I'm literally not even putting it away anymore. And they love the box. Mama loves the box. So yeah, they've been playing. They were sleeping in the sun. But they're so dusty. Can I vacuum the kittens? Because I'm tempted. <laughs> gonna put the roller on them. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go back to the book, which it's good. It's good so far. I'm loving it. So kittens and books. Come on, the best combo. And look outside how pretty it is. My neighbor's tree is flowering like crazy. So is mine, but mine is like tiny. Look how pretty. I love this. And look, my lilac tree. I need to bring some inside. It's so pretty. Like seriously, my life is perfect right now. Gorgeous weather, flowers, kittens, books. Who cares about the dust and all the weeds? We don't care. It's pretty. Good morning. I wanted to update you on the book last night and I fell asleep. I'm still wearing the same shirt. Like I <laughs> passed out last night, but the book is great. I'm having a good time. Um, it's set in this fall, but for some reason it's giving me spring vibes. Like wholesome, I I'm invested so far. Um, the guy went 
to the house he irritated and irritate oh my god the cat mama cat was on the table she does that when she wants attention um it's not good that she learned that um we're gonna start with the cats because <laughs> i'm so over my head right now i woke up two of them had peed in the room and it's not the litter box i clean a little box at least twice a day like it is clean well it wasn't clean in the morning but like it was clean before bed. One of them had peed on my desk where I do my makeup. She's on the table again. And one of them had peed in the closet. So that was fun to wake up to. And then as soon as I finish cleaning up that in the litter box, I bring everything downstairs. If you hear a cat crying, they do that before they <laughs> oh, Okay, so um, <laughs> today I come downstairs. I finally am done, you know? Uh, I was about to let them run a bit before I feed them because I figured out that's the only way that Charlie will eat. As soon as I come here, Mama starts making that gagging noise. She was on the rug, of course, right? So I like drag her to the hallway where it's ceramic. And of course she puked. So <laughs> one of those mornings. I think tonight when I'm done working, I will be building the cat tree. I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone that... Uh, supported the kittens i've received some of the food and like the cat tree like i said so i'm gonna attempt to build that tonight i'm a little scared because i was currently building one of my nightstands for my bedroom whenever it becomes my bedroom again and i gave up halfway through so i have to move that out of the way build the cat tree and we'll deal with the nightstand another day um but yeah it's a big one and it's gonna go in the library. So I'm really excited. They're gonna have, you know, their own little chill place and hopefully they'll leave the bookshelves alone, which the kittens have not been that interested yet, but I think it's a yet kind of situation considering how insane they are in the morning. If you keep seeing me, it's because the kittens. Um, you can see her drinking water. Um, but yes, the book is great so far. I'm enjoying the chill vibes to you know contrast with my current life i was worried a little bit i always am when i'm reading these like wholesome character driven stories that i'm gonna be bored and to be fair it has happened quite a bit in the past but this one so far i am pretty good i just don't know if i'm gonna be invested enough in the life story of the characters or not but i believe there's gonna be a bit of a romance in there and i'm hoping i'm gonna ship them so yeah i'll keep you updated but so far i'm intrigued which good it compensates for the chaos. Okay, so we're gonna do this right now. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna film because the room is a mess. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said I was in the middle of building this and I can't show you my windows because internet. So it's a mess, the cats are gonna stalk me any seconds now. Yeah, the room is a mess, but this first we'll deal with the rest after. Sunday mornings hiding under cover. This is the moment that I'm questioning my life's choices. Um, that's a lot of pieces. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. I don't know if you can hear me, I'm far from the microphone, but I started um, The Women Could Fly. Not gonna lie, the fact that it mentioned that it was supposed to be similar to Octavia E. Butler did count for something in my choice. I'm only 9% into it, so I'll let you know, but so far, so good. These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the cloud Okay, this is random, but I just noticed the box is made to be turned into a cat house. You probably can't tell from this distance, but I'm gonna try to do that. Not today. Today. <laughs> I'm dead. Once this is built, it's shower, washing my hair, and reading my book. But I will be building that. That is so cool because the box is giant. So perfect. We'll do that. I'm dead. 
there's the instructions also in this thing. So we're going to build that in this day. But I'll keep the box. That could be really cute. The cats will love that for sure. That thing is huge and it's perfect because, again, they're going to be able to look out the window. But I can't let the cats in here yet because, I mean, yes, it's a mess, but mostly all the screws and everything from the nightstands dangerous the kittens will eat them they're they're dumb <laughs> they're young i keep trying to get footage of her doing it but the little girl she's crazy we've already established that but she's so stinking cute because she's been running around with one of the toys and it looks like a it's a cat so it has a tail so she grabs the tail and she runs away with it and it's her mouth and it's so freaking cute but every time I try to record it, she stops and it's like, I will get it on the internet. And of course she's doing it right now, but like you can't see from that far. Kitty! Can you see it? Because if I turn the camera around, she will stop. Look at her! Hopefully you saw that. So cute, I can't deal. I just, you know when you get that cute aggression, I could squeeze her. I won't but oh my god i could squeeze her she's so freaking cute i just want to bite her <laughs> okay shower and then book i decided not to wait and i put it in this room that way they can have access to it right away and doesn't seem to interest them much all this work come on Ugh, let's grab one you're you should love this how do you feel about this? Oh, it's gonna work. <laughs> maybe, maybe. No. What about you? Instead of climbing the chair. Ugh. There, let's see. Oh, 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 getting some interest. There's only one baby. Come on. Chunky's in the hallway. <laughs> Do you like this? I'm waiting for her to try the top one. She's going to love that in front of the window. But I need to build a nightstand before. Let me grab the last one. And move that one out of the room. Bring it back downstairs. Ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta-ta. There you go. Hi, Charlie. The whole family. <laughs> they all fit on one. That's perfect. I think they're going to love this, especially once, again, I can move it in the other room. I might hear some loud <laughs> dumps <laughs> in the middle of the night, but hey, as long as they're happy. I think my face cream tastes good. Okay. Okay. I just installed them. They're toys. They love them. <laughs> okay, enough. Leave me some face cream. Leave me so. <laughs> okay, so I was building this, which I had to fight for my life. Um, and of course, my little pot of glue came by to see what I was doing. And he grabbed one of these, which I'm going to see if I can find a big pack of these because I have a feeling they're going to be popular. Um, and we'll see if they're going to play with these. I'm hoping they're going to come and choose some gifts. But like I said, Chunky already chose this one. Let's see. Of course, mom is curious. Let's see what she chooses. What do you want? Are you going to pick one? Are you going to pick one or not? Ooh, ooh, someone. Are you going to... Claudia? <laughs> She's more curious about what they're doing. Already in the kitchen, running around. Of course, in the kitchen, running around. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, it's making little fluffs. Well, Chunky's in love. Are you gonna, oh, okay. Oh, Mama chosen a favorite. Oh, Ally. <laughs> Good for you. What about you, Charlie? What do you want? Oh, you're into the springs, huh? Okay. 
Mama's playing with hers. He's so gentle. Oh, is that your favorite? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you too mature? Are you too above <laughs> playing with toys? Poor little Charlie. Come on, choose one. Oh, oh. I'm gonna regret letting them play with that. <laughs> gonna confiscate them at, at night for sure. Instead of stealing the one from your brother, choose your own. What do you want? Okay, the springs are popular, but I think it's just because it's, they're the first ones. Is there anything else you're seeing? I don't know what my neighbors are doing if you're hearing the yelling. <laughs> Your kitten all over again. Oop, Charlie coming back for more. <laughs> Poor baby, she's a kitten all over again. Hi, Claudia, finally cooperating. Chunky's still busy in the kitchen with his mouse. He's happy. <laughs> Oop. Oh, am I gonna regret this one? <laughs> they really like the little mouse. I feel like I saw a TikTok of someone having like a giant box of them, so I'm gonna look into that if it's that popular. Chunky's still there. So I just woke up and I'm feeling so much better. Like it's six in the morning and I'm like so much better than yesterday. It was not my day. Clearly it started rough and it just, I needed that shower, that sleep. Um, the cats are a little bit better. The toys seem to be working. I was right. The favorites are 100% the springs and uh, the little mouse mice. I need to get more, but I'm going to get some without the tail being feathers because the babies just pull them out. I have to run after them to make sure they don't swallow them. But they're loving the toys. Uh, a little too much, actually. I have a clip of the little girl growling because she wanted to keep that little mouse. They're getting very possessive. The book is still really good. I'm about halfway through at this point, so I flew through it. Um, I have yet to pick up the ebook, so <sighs> once Emily, but I need to like go to bed without being exhausted. <laughs> um, the audiobook is also really good so far. The ratings, I just quickly looked yesterday on Goodreads and they're not that high, but I'm enjoying, like, it's like speculative fiction kind of fantasy-ish. Um, women are under control. It seems very like current events us but some women are witches and that's the reason why they're under so much control like they have to get married before they're 30 and like you know you get the vibes and i'm enjoying it so far i'm only 20 percent into it but you know i had time to listen to it while building the cat tree <laughs> the giant cat tree it's crazy how the personality is all very different charlie makes me laugh too because he makes me laugh too because when he like lay down, he just lets his like back leg like he's completely like ploof on the floor. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh gosh, she's on the table. Of course. Of course. Down. You know you're not allowed. Look at her. You know she's guilty. Look at that guilty face. It's hard to be angry because She's getting very cuddly. She's more cuddly than Charlie now. But I think it's just because Charlie's in his own world. He sleeps, you know, under the couch. I have clips of that. And I have to, like, grab him to put him with the other kittens. And then they all sleep on me. Otherwise, he's just under the couch all the time. 
everyone is eating except you. Except you, little baby. You never want to eat. Mr. Independent, sorry. Sorry with the camera. <laughs> Mr. Independent. Poor little baby. Don't think I play favorites. He's just a little shy little boy. When he's not under the couch. He's just doing his own thing. What's happening with your brother? Hmm? Poor little baby. Good morning. Happy weekend to me. We are finally Saturday. And I have made pretty much no progress in the book. But it's okay. Today is going to be a mix of a reset kind of day and a finishing my book relaxing kind of day because this is the weather right now. Um, do not be fooled. It, it looks like it's going to be pretty, but it, they're, they're announcing rain all day, which it's okay. It means I will not have to go and fight the invasive species of plants outside because, I'm, like I said, I'm trying not to cut my grass uh, for the bees, but it's getting very tempting because the bad plants are getting very high so we'll see what happens with that but it's not going to be for today but today i think i'm gonna like i said reset especially this room i'm gonna do like a before after because it is so bad um it gets so overwhelming so quickly with the kittens they touch everything so everything that is out they will touch and um yeah everything is just very messy i still have the box for the cat house that i'm supposed to build so might actually do that today that way i can decide what happens with it because they already had a box and now there's there two boxes in the living room for the last two days so um and yeah i feel like no matter what i do is going to look messy because the couch needs to have 50 blankets on it to protect it but we can make it better and then i can you know vacuum put the rug back where it should be and yeah um i'm being stalked right now kitten kitten this is Chunky. Hi, Chunky. Oh yeah, the face cream again. No, no. <laughs> so yes, he's definitely a little cuddle bug. Okay. I don't think that's good for you. Thank you. Um, so yes, that's, that's the plan for today. And then I will finish the book and I need to read one page of Beware of Chicken, otherwise I will have felt two weeks. No, we, we can't do that. So yeah, that's the plan. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It was very... It is very like slow, but in a good way. And it's giving um, found family vibes, which I always like, but the action is starting to happen and I kind of don't want it to happen. Am I the only one? Who am I? I feel like I used to be a way more of a like action driven kind of story, but I feel like books like these, I don't want the bad stuff to happen. I just want the vibes, you know? I want to go deeper in the characters and I don't care about the bad guy. So yeah, that's the plan today. I'm excited. Let's do this. Let me show you the room. Well, actually, let me include some ASMR, the kittens eating. It always makes me laugh, but I hate using these clips because you can always hear me breathe in the background. Like, why am I breathing so hard? Also, the little girl has been growling non-stop at everyone over the toys she's become really bad but she's very very cuddly so like i will forgive her everything they're officially 10 weeks old today i love them they drive me absolutely cuckoo but i love them <laughs> oh boy uh, it's so messy it's so messy Chunky baby. Hmm? I can't do anything. I'm forced to take a nap. The other ones are right there. It's actually sunny, but shh. I'm still not going outside. I have to take a nap. After that, I'm gonna bring them all upstairs so I can actually vacuum without them panicking. They hate the vacuum. Chunky baby. Kinda better, kinda. But mostly I try to do this and the instruction make you do it that way and it's not nice. 
I give up on the window too because I don't have the right tools as you can see. <laughs> but we're gonna see if the cats like it. I don't know if you can see her, but that's Mama Cat. Pear, do you like the little house? Look at her. Yay. So even though it was a big pain in the butt <laughs> to using it, it looks nothing like a house. I followed the lines, by the way. Like, I know it's not a pointy top, but it wasn't that. I followed the instructions. <laughs> Except for the window. I didn't cut the window. I gave up. <laughs> They're officially using it. It was worth it. So, the good news is I have finished the book. The bad news is that I'm stuck here again. It's been like that all day. He's been a little cuddle bug. The other ones are currently under the couch, which is their favorite spot, which, did I ever show you? Let me show you some clips. It's really hard not to step on them. If I forget, dangerous. Uh, the book was overall enjoyable. I think I mentioned earlier that my fear was that I would prefer the chill moments over the action, and yeah, as much as it was fine, I was craving more day-to-day -day life with the characters over the action that happened. So I think I'm going to round it up to four. It was definitely what I needed at the moment. And yeah, I needed a chill day. This week has been so all over the place. But yeah, good book overall. I will be attempting to read at least one page before the end of this log tonight. Tonight is the end. And I can do this one page. I'm also still listening to the audiobook. And so far, I'm enjoying it. So there's not much to say for the moment, but I'm curious to see, does she have magic or what she, which is a thing or is this just an excuse to persecute women in that world? So yeah, I'll update you on that too. She's very happy the cat trees back downstairs. She gets to relax a little bit more. Yes, you too, baby. Don't mind the table. They drop a lot of water and then there's a bunch of little paw prints. I need to clean it again. Look at them. Are they cute? Attacking mama still is not a good idea. This is what I mean. She will only sleep on the bed if she's in a box. The babies are okay with it though. Right babies?